Happy Serena. Today we're going to tackle my pantry. As you can see, my pantry is pretty distraught, so I'm going to start taking things out and using the organizing containers to organize similar things together. So, here we go. together um so let's bring it in a little bit closer and i'll show you some of the things that i did so i did like oil and vinegar in this one so i had a couple of things of um apple cider vinegar so i put my oil and vinegar together back in the back right here I have a baking like a bacon thing I had some cake mix in there cobbler mix some chips you know bacon powder things like that so I put that in the back I don't use that as often I put all the peanut butter my peanut butter powder peanut butters peanuts and honey all together if I had jelly I would have put jelly in there. Um, back here is some like barbecue sauces and some marinades um, that I haven't used, but they're there, which could probably go up in the top top because I don't use that as often. And then I put some loose stuff back here that doesn't really go in a category, but we don't use it that often, so not something I'd be pulling out all the time. And I think I'm going to make this boxes and cans on this level. And then I had my spices and it's working for right now. It's in a ramen noodle um, container box. Um, they're wearing out. I've got two of these left. I might end up switching them and that. I don't know. But these seem to work and it holds all my spices. Um, and I have two containers of those. And these I don't use as often. But this one I pull out all the time. And it's held up. And then the ramen noodles. Then back here I put all the syrups. So I have you know, two or three bottles of the k rose syrup, strawberry syrup for milk or um, ice cream, molasses, pancake syrup, and then my hazelnut and syrup that I use in my coffee that I love. And then this one was already in a container and I'm going to leave it that way. But it's basically all those little Jiffy cornbread mixes. Um, and I had already done that because I realized I had so many of them. I decided to contain them. And then we have space here for something else. Then down at the bottom, I did 
chips from one container. Um, I wanted to use one of the bigger ones, but that doesn't, that might not work. So I put chips in one container, and I found these little snacks. So I just stuck them down in there that we have left over from our trip. And then this is going to be condiments. Right now it's got mayonnaise in it, but mustard and ketchup will go in here. And then my coffee and stuff. There's nothing behind those, so I have more room if I need it. Then I made something for the cat, which has got the cat food for treats. Anything cat related is in here. Her cat food, her treats, um, you know, anything like that is in here for her. And so, I decided to stick that there. Um, and then there's nothing else on that shelf. And then I have another one of my little caddies down here. And those won't stand straight up, so we put paper towels on that side. So, I have room all behind here. Room all down here. Um, so, it don't look pretty. But, <clears throat> I haven't went to the store yet. So, we'll see how this works. Um, I think that looks a whole lot better than it did. Like I said, it's not pretty. But, if it's functional, then that works for me. I want it to be functional. It doesn't have to be pretty. Um, I just got the containers because it would have taken me forever. I normally would organize with, um, I don't know if I ever showed y'all or not, but normally I organize with these little boxes that I get the ramen noodles in, and they work out great, but they do tear up and you have to replace them. And I might end up switching my spices and end up doing something different later on. But for right now, um, this will work. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to look pretty. It has to be functional. And I've got room to spare in it to put extras or things that we're not using. I can always move them. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And leave a comment and let me know... Could I do something different with it? Give me some ideas. Um, like the boxes of cereal and stuff. I have those, which I didn't show that. I have those in like, like this is our grits. And I just tape the instructions on there so we know how to make the grits. But, you know, I just put them in this and then that's how we make our grits. But normally... I don't change out, except for maybe the cereal, the pancake mix, and grits all go in these little containers here um, that I've had for quite a while. But for right now, we're going to try this out. We're going to see what happens, see if this is functional. If it's functional and it works, I'm leaving it like it is. If it doesn't, we'll revamp it and come up with something new. Okay, thanks for y'all for stopping by. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Y'all come back now. Y'all here?